Hey guys, I'm out here making my motor mount for my mini bike. I did not cut that one off yet. I just, you know, didn't get to it. Well, I'll tell you guys, um, the reason I didn't take that off because I was lazy because I wanted to get up the materials and tools to do to make these motor mounts before I make that before I cut that off. That takes only about 10 minute job. And you guys know, yeah, I got a 10 pack cut off this, so you know, I'll be good for a while. And I'm just out here in my garage making one of the two motor mounts. Um, this thing is three inches wide and it's seven inches long and I did all this crazy ass math shit and I have no clue I don't remember how I did this any of this but yeah I got all these lines and shit and like that and I figured out my two drill holes and shit so yeah I have this plate I forgot how much I have left oh I cut seven inches off of 36 so I should have 29 Eh, just a little shy I cut the motor mounts. I, I like cut them just a tad bigger. And so, yeah. After I cut another 7 inches off, I'm going to have, like, all this left. So, that's always good. This piece was 15 bucks. I, and I only need, like, half of it. You know, that's just a quick estimate. What am I talking about? Yeah, I only need, like, half of it, so. A little less than half. But yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to make your motor mount. First tools you're going to need. A drill. And I would recommend if you had a drill press with the drill press vise, I would recommend using it instead of a portable drill. But I just have my Craftsman Next Tech. Wait, I can't even see it's Craftsman. That's sort of... I put a lot of use into this drill. I got overspray. I dropped it probably about maybe 20 or, 20 or so times. The battery's just charging because... I was using it all week and stuff to do all kinds of stuff and then I just never ended up charging it so I drilled the I drilled four holes in this eighth inch plate and then I started charging it so you're gonna need a um, drill bit you're gonna need a 5 16 inch uh, drill bit you're gonna need a um, a um, round file this is an eight inch that's usually the size they come in but the com I have a comfy grip. You don't have to have the nice comfy grip. You can just have, you know, the regular, the regular file. Well, I like this. It's easier to use. It's a lot easier. The round file, I highly suggest. Well, you'll need that. You're gonna need one of these things. It's a punch. I think it's called. I have one over there, but this one's a lot better. It's spring powered. This is a finer point and actually leaves a better mark. For so for two bucks at Harbor Freight. And what I do, I push it down until I feel the spring click in. Then I whack with the hammer in the top. So, so you know, that's four bucks right there for your heart free. And you're going to need, um, I'm just going to take this off show you guys. You're going to need some sort of clamp to clamp, it, your, to clamp it down your workbench. You could sort of put it in a vise, but not that type of vise. You need the vise that's sort of flat and low and it opens. But I'm just using, you know... A cheapy Chinese Harbor Freight three dollar C clamp. I like this. I like these instead of um, C clamps because you don't have to like you know tighten down the little screw. With this you just tighten down the screw, and then you just open it, and then you just close it. I like that. If you're gonna do the thing where you like that, you need you're gonna need a hammer. Tape measure. One of these things, I have no clue what they're called. I could go to a store and look at it, see what it's called, but I have no clue what it's called. It's ideal, some marking thing. That's good for making straight lines. I need some uh, oil. This just, I, this actually works pretty good. Motor oil and one of these hard free squeeze it cans. It had a tip on there, but I just cut it off because I didn't figure out how it worked. So, so what you want to do? Find all your markings. Punch your two holes. Punch your two holes right here. Drill the holes, and they're gonna have a little. Probably that's probably about a thirty-second thickness of a thing there. What you wanna do is clamp it down your workbench, and then file away. 
until it sort of looks like that. Tor until it looks like a slot. And actually what I did, because my clamp, I have a round at workbench and stuff here, and I got all this, I got molding and stuff all in here. So it's kind of hard for this clamp because it sort of slides off. So what I suggest is get a two inch, you know, just a uh, screw, you know, two inch drywall screw or whatever. And then I just had all this random stuff. I had a 10 24th lock washer, put that on. And I put on some random knot. I think that's probably about 5 16 or so. And I just put on this random washer. It's probably about half inch. And then what I did is I just drilled it in my workbench. And it actually helped so the back wouldn't pop up. So you can make, like, this shows you that you can make random things out of just stuff you have laying around. And one screw from a box of what? It's like, there's like a hundred or so in here. It goes by the pound. It doesn't tell you, but there's probably a hundred or two hundred. I don't know. And then you should get a slot. And I'm going to make two of these side by side. I haven't cut out the other one because I want to complete this one. And then I'm going to get it. And I'm probably just going to put like three little half inch beads. And I'm going to pop it over here. And then I'm gonna weld them and then put my motor on. And it has a and it's a half inch slot I'm making. So um that's how you basically whoa. Oh my god. Stupid broom. I need like a broom holder hanging on the wall or something. So yeah, that's what I've been doing today. My clock is actually right. It's uh, 158 or 159, just shy of two. And I would like to go to scrap yard. You know, I, I want to clean out my yard. But they close at 4. Oh, wait, no. They close at 4.30 during the week. But they close at 12 noon. So they're already closed today. Yeah, it sucks. Or they're open tomorrow. I'm not even. I don't even think they're open today. Maybe yeah, that sucks. Would like to go, but like my dad's not home, and I have to go with my dad because he has his ID. He's the only one who would actually take me. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing. That's just you know my motor mount making update it's so hot outside probably like 90 degrees probably like only like 80 but it feels like 100 and yeah so um so you see how you're gonna make this it's a pretty good plate after you cut it down to this length it doesn't bend it doesn't wobble like this one this doesn't even wobble but yeah now i got all this extra plate Three inch by uh, something something. Three inch by twenty two inch by eighth inch. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a uh, just shy of two feet, but I don't know. And I want to make a thing like a rack or something. I'm not sure. I'm thinking over here or here. Cause I notice I I want to build something like not just like a box, but something like a rack or something. That I can put all my metal on because I have like, you know, I have a couple sheets of aluminum over there. I got, I'm gonna have 22 inches left of uh, this this material. This is all good stuff, you know. And then I have probably about nine inches of like eighth inch by one and a quarter inch flat stock. And then I got this this left over probably about that's a quarter inch by about five or six inch. I just have all these random pieces. That are so like, you know, they're they're expensive pieces. Like you go to your, you know, you try to buy a piece like this at your local Sears. Well, they don't sell size like this. You're gonna have to buy like a uh, thing, and that's gonna be like thirty bucks. So that's probably about a couple bucks. And this is that was fifteen bucks for that whole thing. I probably still got ten bucks. I probably got about seven or eight. But yeah, I wanna build like a. Bin, I don't know. I want to build something. But then I have, yeah, like smaller pieces. I don't know. And I got a couple angle and shit down there. 
might just put it in a bin or something. But yeah, I I like I like when you have leftover metal. It's always good to have leftover metal in a metal shop. You always save your scraps. But the scraps that are useless, you scrap them. So yeah, it's just my video. Oh, and I show you guys one more thing. I was using my chain breaker, and the pin got stuck in the chain, and it won't come out. I have to work on that. And so yeah, it's just my uh, slot making video. So see you guys later.